Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to just show a little quick tip on fixing a little weird thing that's happening when you're using this path animation. I have another video which talks about how to set this up, how to create the curve, how to animate this feather or leaf or anything along this path and make adjustments, set up position markers and orientation markers. However, in this one, I wanted to kind of point out, I wanted to show a weird thing that's happening. And this was brought up to me and I was asked how to fix this. Is if I go to the very beginning here, you see that the feather that I have attached here is kind of flipping around. And I'm going to get a little closer so you can kind of see this a little bit better. And you could see that the feather is just kind of flipping here in the first couple frames, right? And I'm going to go over to the channel box and I'm going to point this out that right now the rotations, which with this little yellow tab here, this little yellow marker is pointing out that it's attached to the motion path, right? It's being controlled by the twist attributes. So if I go back to the channel box, you could see right now there's zero and it shows that they're connected. If you hover over, it says connected motion path one, right? They're being controlled by this motion path and how it's attached to the motion path. So if you scrub forward just one or two frames and it flips, you can see there's now values there, right? So the very first frame on frame two, it's flipping on frame one, it's not. And you can even see if I dolly out just a little bit, you can actually see the axes are X is going this way, Z is going this way, Y is going up. Now, if I go to the next frame, you could see that Z is now kind of flipped around, right? It has nothing to do with keyframes. It has nothing to do with putting it on the motion path. What it has to do with is this curve. So if I right click on the curve and go to control vertex, and I'm going to kind of scrub down a little bit just so I can see the very beginning here. And you see that point? There's no tangent handle on it. What it means is this is a corner point and not a curve point. Right? So you could see these have tangent handles or Bezier curve handles. But this one does not. And that's what's actually causing the issue, right? It's flipping around because of that. There's a couple different ways you can fix this. One way is you can go up to the Curves Surfaces tab and go over here to the Bezier tool. And you could choose that Bezier tool and you can hold down Control and then drag out a handle. And then when you drag out that handle, it's going to put a handle on either side of that point. And now when I scrub back, it's not flipping. The other way you can do this, and I'm just going to undo is I'm going to go back to just the uh, select tool or you could press Q on the keyboard to get back to it. I can hold down shift and right click and go to the Bezier curve tool if I want to do it that way, right? Or I'm going to move this out of the way just a little bit. I'm going to right click and go to control vertex. I want to select that vertex, that control vertex, that corner, hold down shift, right click, and I can go to Bezier corner and it adds just one Bezier handle to the edge of that curve, right? And then I can select across that handle, press W on the keyboard and I can move it around, right? It's not going to have a handle on the other side that is combined and that's okay, right? We don't need one on the other side, but using the tool will add one on the other side. So if you want to do it this way, that will work. Now you can do the same thing in reverse. You can select, hold down shift, and then right click, and then you're going to have these options. So I can turn it back into a corner. I can right click, make it a Bezier, or go back and make it a Bezier corner, right? And either one of those, other than just making it a corner, right? The Bezier, Bezier corner, either one of those are going to allow it not to flip. So if I come back here, you're going to see it's not moving around. So that's how you can fix that. The other thing is it would be the same thing on the bottom, on the last point along the curve. If you don't have a handle there, you might see a little curvature or something here. And to kind of point this out, I never put an orientation marker at the very end, especially if you look at the graph editor. I'm going to go to Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor, and I have to select my motion path. And if you look at that U value, Remember that this last one is set to one. It's a value of one, kind of like 100%. And the starting value is zero, like 0%. Zero so this is the travel along the path. If that last keyframe, wherever it is, is not set to one or is set over one, you're going to find that the object that's traveling along the path will just end whenever it gets to one, but then it still might have a little bit of movement. So make sure that's set to one. And then these twist attributes 
I don't normally set my last twist at the very end of my last keyframe. So I set that to 465, even though it goes to 480. You could do that, but if your tangencies are different on these twist values than the U value, you might see a little bit of rotation weirdness at the very end. So that's how you can kind of fix a couple things with a motion path animation. The first one being the most important that I see happen a lot and people have asked me about. And that's how to fix it. I hope this helped and good luck with uh, your work on animation.